Okay, so this morning then, it's not, the song is um, got to give it up. It's not about quitting, it's about giving in to your, uh, what you really want, rather than trying to fight it. Um, finally having the courage to step out and dance like nobody's watching. Instead of sitting on the sidelines and playing the wallflower. Uh, it's time to be seen. It's time to be heard. In whatever way that is. And if you're a shy person, that's not easy. Um, but it's step up. Step up or ship out. It's time to live your life. Stop wasting time. You only get one go at it that you remember. So it's hard to be happy. It's not playing at it. Fifth house, things done in the dark, pride, the sun, so Leo and Sagittarius. So the fire signs are at it again. It is the choice card today, otherwise known as the lovers. So you choose what you bind yourself to. And we've got Kunas, Kin. Do you understand? The name Ken, possibly. Um, so do you understand the words of the song? Read the lyrics. Time to stop being a wallflower. Having the courage to do something new. Try something new. Live a little. So, so Adam, Eve, Lily. Gemini energy. Communications, children, hands up, shoulders, the choice. And for once, it's in the upright. So we're making the right choice. We're doing what's best for us. And it may be a hard choice because it may be between two things of equal value. So bindings, communications, like I said. Um, Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. So Adam, Eve, Lily and the snake and the apple. Gemini, Cancer, Cusper. Because there's been an injustice. 
and someone was sat on the fence far too long. Could be um, about partnerships, marriages, the call on the prostate, health wise. Um, it's righting wrongs, make the right decision, tell the truth, especially if you're going to court. Um, your words could be used against you in a court of law. Number 11. Um, you're living in a dream world, some of you. Um, you have to take that sword and cut through the bullshit, get to the point. Could be a sarcastic child, but it doesn't mean they're not telling the truth. This is the truth coming out. A younger, immature energy that has no filter. Could be a sportsman. And moving on from stormy waters to calm ones. But do not take those swords of the past with you. That's the, the thoughts and words that are negative. Leave them in the past. There's your Sagittarius. You've got it in the dice. You've learned the hard lessons. You don't have to relearn them. This is about finding balance in your life. This is about overcoming addictions uh, to a way of life, the old way of doing things, the outcome of the situation. Drugs, alcohol, online shopping, you know what your vice is. It's being put through the blacksmith's forge and coming out like a piece, being battered and battered like a piece of metal and coming out like a mighty sword. But that may mean that you'll lose friends. That may mean that you cannot attend to some celebration or whatever. Not while you're in this vulnerable state. Not while you've overcome these addictions. If you're going to court, maybe you have to stay away from gatherings or whatever because of the terms of your bail um, so somebody's making the right decision uh, they're not going to be trapped overthinking it anymore they know what's right and if you go with what's right you're never wrong so we're no longer in denial we're no longer waiting to be sure the facts and we're no longer protecting others <clears throat> it's time to do what's right So 14, massively important positive energy, Sagittarius study universities, um, Libra is negative, um, and the number 11, injustice. Yes, there's been injustices, but you've got to get over it. I'm sure Adam, when Lilith left, felt... No, that was an injustice when they parted ways. But if she hadn't gone, he wouldn't have found Lilith. Uh, wouldn't have found Eve, sorry. So, messenger, parcel man, gifts coming through the post. Oh no, sorry, it's the hero. We all need a hero. So the hero's arrived. I'm sure Adam thought that Eve was his hero after all he'd been through with Lilith. The door's open. It's a welcome visitor. Could be a stranger. It's a tall, handsome stranger as far as gypsy cards are concerned. Could be a immature fire sign child, but somebody who's passionate or a younger energy. Yeah, the nightmare's over. We're no longer trapped. The door's open. You're welcome in or out. You choose. <clears throat> no more sleepless nights. So, are you in or are you out? Are you going to stand up for injustice or should I say justice or are you going to keep suffering the injustice because there is trauma from the past fight flight freeze mode um, triggering um, especially with children child abuse etc a bad past where somebody maybe blocked you on the internet somebody didn't communicate somebody didn't put the effort in um It's somebody erasing a tattoo, maybe. Yeah. Because there is a new bond in its early stages or um, a bond that cannot be broken. Could be between you and kids or it could be between you and someone else. We've got a lot of twos coming. So, or you will be stuck if you do not overcome these addictions. Stuck in stormy waters and not moving on. Six weeks is mentioned. And the internet. So somebody 
is not committed. There is love there, but there's no commitment as yet. Pisces energy. The martyrs and the victims. Don't be somebody's victim and don't be a martyr. Give with an open heart and don't expect to receive, but don't stand there and let people wipe their feet all over you. The Pisces are Pisces cusper, um, which could be our undoing till 2026. Um, cuspers are 20th of January, uh, around there, and 20th of no, tell a lie. 20th of February and 20th of March. So Aquarius and Aries. Lack of success because you haven't taken the actions necessary. That's why. Because you've been apathetic. And now it could lead to you losing a home or losing that family unit. Ken, kin, kinfolk. Problems within the home. Family life. A home is not a home without a fire in the hearth, food on the table and a welcome at the door. Repairs may be needed to it. A celebration may be called off, like I said. A wedding even. Somebody's maybe got cold feet because they're not committed. They've got commitment phobias. So it could be the loss of a home even for some. Um, but home is where the heart is. So bricks and mortar don't make a home. Yeah, you have to take back control of your life. Finally, it's back on track. You're a team. You work together. This is the home and family life, the fourth house. And if you're not a team, you're pulling in different directions. They're not your people. 7 or 25, back on track. Absolutely fantastic. Perhaps the purchase of a new car. But if you're losing your home, I don't see that. That's um, a possibility. Unless you've decided to buy a camper van. Yep, there's the Leo energy, which we've got in the fifth house. So courage and strength will be needed to get back on track. Your heart must be in it. Your back must be strong, ramrod straight. Um, and have patience, because it's not going to be easy. Um, the heart and back health issues. Um, the breasts and the stomach. All healed. 8 and 26. 7 and 25. Yeah, there's the healing. Chiron. Um, arenas, crowds, farmers, agriculture. Um, those in uniform of a darker complexion. It's once you heal yourself and you can go out into the world and heal others. This could be simply by apologising. Someone may apologise. Um, it's slow and steady movement forwards in security, emotional security and finance. Yeah. Someone is concentrating on finance there. So um, money is more important at the minute. Or health issues. Um, so it's not really about love. It's about um, health and money. Hospital doors. Um, the abdomen, the intestines, issues there that need to be healed. It's Virgo energy again, because Chiron is Virgo, Virgo Cusper. So that would be late Leo, um, early um, Libra. So if it's the early Libra, you've got problems. If it's the late Leo, you're probably all right. But it's health issues, hospital doors, nurses, um, Health services. Miracles can happen. This has turned out to be a beautiful read. 1 or 28. So the 25th, the 26th, the 27th and the 28th. The 27th could be negative. But the 28th is definitely positive. A miracle takes place. Um, surgeons, hairdressers. Um, so anything from a surgeon to a hairdresser. A lumberjack to a joiner, um, a bank teller or a cashier to uh, somebody working with a circular saw and a barista to somebody that works with large vats. It could be someone new entering your life, possibly the hero. It could be somebody that um, wears many hats. So somebody who likes collecting hats like baseball caps, etc. Or someone who is many things to many different people. 
the magician, one and twenty-eight. Children, communication, um, so good things happening. It is the medical field, so any health issues, I won't worry so much. And there it is, your cup is full. Spirit are giving you a full cup, a gift, and you've got to nurture that cup. It's in its early stages, like we said, but there's nothing to stop it becoming much, much more. But that cup is not for anyone else, it's for you. It's for you to love yourself. The Holy Grail, if you like. Mary. She was the chalice. She was the Holy Grail. Females. Fertility. But we've got this law again, Libra. Laws are against us right now. We are not protected. There is possibly a violent man. Somebody who sits on the fence far too long and doesn't make a decision. Justice is blind. Well, sorry, the law is blind. Justice isn't. So it's time that blindfold came off because somebody's at the gates of hell at the hands of another. There was bloodshed probably. Somebody sacrificed because others believed that that was okay. And it wasn't okay. So those of you that were classed as conspiracy theorists or anti-vaxxers because you uh, didn't agree with everybody else uh, those of you that uh, have been injured in some way by doctors priests or lawyers uh, letting the negativity into your field be it financially emotionally spiritually mentally or physically this is being shackled to the devil for some reason, Persephone, she's in it again. We won't give up. And now we've got the 1 and 29. So we've got a run. The end of this month, from the 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. Or 1, 2, 7, uh, 8 and 9. All important. It could be neighbours. Uh, you have to be patient. Your ships will come in. So stop panicking. Stop worrying. All comes right in the end. So it's about kith and kin. It's about knowledge learned. So there's your knowledge. Which is positive. And there's the family. Which is positive. If you work as a team. If you don't, it's going to cause problems. It can't work unless everybody is willing to work as a team. And that includes the kids. Kunas. Dear Ken, Scotland, and I'm going. Can't wait. Only eight more days. As I say, I don't know what I'm going to do about the cards. I will take some with me. So just keep your eyes and ears open because I will try and keep in touch as much as I can. I don't know where we're going. It's all a surprise. I don't know what the internet's going to be like. So I will do my best. Heimdall, the Sentinel. So a letter C. And I, I did find out that from my son that um, Heimdall is him. Because that's what his name means. The Irish name Casey means Heimdall. So the watch, the... the um, Sentinel, the watcher, the one that watches over, which is nice to know. Unfortunately, he also found out that um, my name is derived from Mars, so the god of war. So he's my lookout and I'm the warrior. Sounds about right. You usually find out what your life purpose is by your name. And your fourth year North Nerd. So the letter KC, which is KC, my son. Um, the torch cut from a branch of a pine tree. Um, and its light keeps the darkness at bay. And the darkness is what the fifth house is. And the sun is the light. 
We haven't got pine on here. Oh yeah, we have. It's Libra. Oh well, that explains everything. So again, the justice. Um, protecting the charges from harm, but we know we're not protected because Libra is in the reverse. So professional people, doctors, priests, lawyers, are not protecting us and they're not giving good advice either. It can symbolise learning, which is the Sagittarius, and especially the knowledge handed down from generation to generation, which is why the words kunas and ken are related to our words kin or kindred. So family stories, family history, uh, sometimes skewed, but there's always a bit of truth in it. Uh, where there's smoke, there's fire. It's about passion, and without it, further generations could not exist. Corn also represents the Norse word for wasting or ulcer. So stomach ulcers definitely could be an issue. Too much worrying. Maintaining the flame, the kindling that provided is the fuel is eventually consumed. So worrying too much will cause ill health. Um, the trustworthy gatekeeper of the gods is Heimdall. Um, the deity of mysterious and brooding pine forest. So there's the gatekeeper, the high priestess, and she's in the reverse. So she's trusted, but somebody is um, dishonouring this. It's bringing Ragnarok, or the twilight of the gods. Handel was known as the shining god and was personified as the torch or beacon. So the sun in the dice. Uh, he stood between Asgard and the world of humankind and is credited with passing on the knowledge of the runes to mortals, bonfires and beacons. So the millennium, uh, bonfire night, where I come from, whenever you use bonfires for Sir Guy Fox, November the 5th, uh, lit on mountaintops in order to pass on news of great importance. So Native American smoke signals uh, and the owl. The most obvious meaning of this rune is gaining and passing on of knowledge. However, we should not forget its connection with passion. But I suggest that you read books because he's burning the books and they want you to rely on the internet. Not all things on the internet are true. Um, one may be passionate about a subject. So if you're doing a course, please don't take things off the internet. Because you may fairly cross because of it. Uh, when it's rune appears in a reading, the two concepts are often strangely mixed together. Just as the ancient Anglo-Saxon verb kennen meant both to conceive and to bring forth from the mind. In more mundane terms, kunas means the start of a consuming love affair. So there's the love affair, even though it's the choice. And there's the manifestation of your thoughts, words. You are casting spells. Um, if you're using love spells to attract someone, that won't work. You can never make someone love you. It will wear off or you will realise that it's fake love and that's not what you want. Uh, it will teach both parties a thing or two about life. So a lesson learned. This is one of the most positive rooms leading you on a path of new discovery. It's also an indicator of safety because in some mystical sense, you are being watched over as thoroughly as if Heimdall or the Vigilant Owl were guarding you from danger. And there is danger. A sudden powerful insight is also likely. The aha moment, something coming to light, the sun. Kunas is prominent and you may feel touched with a clarity of vision that you have never known before. In some cases, there is a loss of love friendship and old loyalties because now you see things very clearly you have realized who put you at those gates of hell you may feel yourself to be adrift and abandoned with little of idea of where to go so up shit creek without a paddle is there but we have also got it saying that we will move forwards um however kunas is primarily associated with learning so it's important to remember that some lessons are hard ones and it may be that it's time to let go. So let yourself go, which is what the, the song says. Uh, give it up. Uh, stop fighting for something that isn't yours to begin with. 
Uh, all will be revealed in time, so don't panic. The lesson that you need to learn will become evident to you and you will soon find the right path, even if the guiding light of Kunas seems to be dimmed. So, because the fifth house rules things that go on in the dark, so you are being kept in the dark. It's Leo energy. Uh, it rules the heart and back, which we know is positive. There we are. Um, Richard the Lionheart again. Theatres, nightclubs, leisure, sports centres, hotel rooms. Self-expression, recreation, creativity, offspring, pleasure, love affairs and children. Speculation. So for some of you also there is speculation about the parent, uh, the paternity of a child. Because you've had an affair uh, because of the hotel rooms. So, Sagittarius Sun, you bring into light, it's learning us, teaching us some lessons that we needed to learn. Uh, adventurous self expression, spontaneous questing, questioning, philosophical energies. The Sun in Sagittarius bounces back after setbacks but can burn out, and that's what we've got to worry about is the burnout, making yourself ill. So don't do that, please, slow and steady. Mercury retrograde is about reinventing yourself. We've just come out of Mercury retrograde, but there will be another one because there's always four in a year. So uh, it's revisiting something from your past, which we've got there, uh, childhood trauma, stuff like that, wherever it's gone, the Six of Cups. Number 51, so you may live at 51, you may be age 51. So almost the last card. It's a two of swords. And we've got it there in the right way because we're making that decision that needs to be made. Mercury retrograde, reinvention. Mishaps are like knives that either serve us or cut us as we grasp them by the blade or the handle. So if you... Use your words and thoughts positively, they will serve you. If you use them negatively, they will come back to cut you. The names James, Russell and Lowell all could be important. Mercury retrograde is regarded as a time when things tend to go wrong. In actuality, it marks a three and a half week period where any important actions should be postponed. So we've just come out of it and we've gone direct. But sometimes the energy lingers on. So... Um, perhaps we do have to be patient. It doesn't say um, three and a half weeks, but it does mention three days and six weeks. About three or four times a year, Mercury goes through a motion called retrograde, which means go back, retreat. So Spirit is saying don't do that. Uh, the planet of slippery wit, fluency and adaptability. It's close to the sun, there's the sun there, and appears as if to be going backwards. You are not. Uh, the retrograde moment, movement of the planet is just the illusion because the Earth is orbiting the Sun at a different speed than Mercury. Still, from an astrological point of view, planets in retrograde motion cause potent effects on the Earth below. And no planet goes retrograde as often as Mercury because it's never more than 28 degrees from the Sun. 28 degrees there. And because of this, it is given as the dubious phase that when something goes awry, many exclaim Mercury retrograde. So you may be having to uh, fix something that went wrong during Mercury retrograde because we had the vehicle in reverse, didn't we? Um, Mercury isn't a predictable planet going along its normal direct path, and neither should you be. But once it goes retrograde, it's akin to trying to drive a car backwards. So we need to take back control of that car and stick it in forward mode, uh, first gear, get going. Uh, Mercury suddenly begins to wobble off kilter. However, if you are a writer, when Mercury retrograde is the perfect time to revise your writings. So if you didn't do it during Mercury retrograde, you're going to have some problems. But uh, if you did, you could probably see that things are improving. 
Um, it's the counterpart of Hermes, so the delivery driver, that's what I had in my head. The Greek Olympian god, the sly trickster, who is not only big on pranks, but also false moves. He is the god of transition, roads and boundaries. The very name Hermes has to do with speech and implies he is a translator, so be careful that your words are understood. Um, Mercury as Hermes conveys information. And when that information comes to us wrongly, as it does via the internet sometimes there, there, is, well, there he is on his internet, it's gone wrong. Um, because Mercury is unpredictable, retrograde motion, nothing seems to go right. Firstly, when this card comes up in a reading, back up all your equipment, your computers, your cell phones, your address books, and anything to do with technology or mechanics. So maybe you're not able to attend something because you aren't receiving the messages. Electrical appliances purchased at this time may end up needing to be returned. Any sales items will often turn out to be massive duds. Um, don't make the mistake of purchasing a vehicle at this time either. So the new vehicle, ooh, <clears throat> well, if you, if you purchased it during retrograde, I think that's the problem. Um, how long will this period last? Uh, give the matter one week and then ask the same question. You will want to go carefully over the contracts that you sign. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest signing anything, really. Check any mail or letter that you send. If you are about to leave on a trip, leave early because you must expect unusual delays to occur. But it doesn't seem to be that. Stuck in stormy waters, maybe because of weather somewhere um, around that time. Oh, that don't bode well for me coming home, does it? Um, make sure you have clothing for all types of weather yes I will um, Scotland's unpredictable mundane matters aside retrograde planets are said to be more empathic and that means that strangely you will be more silently and internally keyed into the energies so I may get some downloads a lot of downloads while I'm going to have to write them, write them up for you this causes unusual and fated meetings and occurrences oh you may meet up with someone you haven't seen in years at a most unexpected place. You may have a conversation with someone who you've only known superficially and when suddenly you connect to that person causing a deeper rapport. If you're asking about the strengthening of relationships, this is not a good time to get married, but it is an excellent time to renew your vows. It is not a good time to initiate a divorce or end a relationship though, considering how soon Mercury retrograde moves forward. So, if... In retrograde, you you uh, found yourself reconnecting with someone from the past. Um, you may be regretting it now, actually, because this is about Mercury retrograde and we're out of it. We're going direct. Um, it's a time for reinventions and renews and avoid uh, negative past connections. It is about making that decision. So... Oh, there she is. It's about deciding whether you're worthy to move on to the next plane to ascend, if you like. Not quite yet. You need to get your health in um, check. <clears throat> and come out of that martyrdom. You're not here to live for other people. You're here to live your own life. Very important. So the oak. Guardian, again, the Guardian, the Watchman, Heimdall. So, Denver, the place Denver. What can anyone say about Denver, the Oak Guardian? He's such a patient guide. Yep, have patience. Your ships will come in, the three of ones, to open the door for you. He judges whether you're acceptable to journey through that door or not. So, Patience again, patience again with Sagittarius and Leo, and you need it the most. Um, it will only appear when you're ready. The door may be small, but surprisingly, you will make it through as long as you're not narrow minded into the amazing world beyond. Denver senses why you're here at this, at this point in time, why you're at this crossroads to make a decision. Um, and you won't find it 
Any of our reality. Uh, he wants to know whether you're ready to walk through. Sometimes it takes a different way of seeing things to understand a situation from a different point of view. And you must come with an open heart, a loving heart and a willingness to step into the unknown with respect and honesty. The small door is symbolic of the way we perceive things in our life. You may see things in black and white or allow the flow of other realities into it. The other worlds do not have the limitations of our own, which makes it a great place to look for answers that we would not normally find in our reality. So find the oak tree. Oh, a little acorn. There it is again. Uh, a leaf, an acorn, or just an image of one. And meditate on the oak and ask the tree spirits to grant you access. Ask for its healing and wisdom to guide you on how to enter. Call on Denver to show you the way and step through the threshold into a reality far beyond anything you could ever dream of. So, just get the image of a very large oak tree in your mind and see where your mind wanders after that. Oh, dusty boots, you see... Be careful, it could all be a mirage. You might be kidding yourself. There's the Leo energy. Survival, but false promises. You may survive, but if you're living on false promises and lies, that will get you nowhere. Number 19. Oh, dear. So Dusty Boots, I often think, is a squaddy uh, from, who lived... Who, fought in Afghanistan or the desert wars, even the desert rats. So you might know somebody from the Second World War that's important. Number 19. When, the, when you stumble upon the desert prince, you do receive a gift. What did I say about the gift, even though it's the night, uh, page of wands? The plant life that exists in a desert environment is well defended and so are you. You've got Heimdall watching over you. Tough and succulent. Even though it gets little or no water. So you may be getting very little attention and feeling at the gates of hell. In spite of the external conditions, extraordinary life. So miracles can take place. Uh, can form and thrive. So be tough. Have courage in these times, these hard times. Dare to dream no matter what the circumstances. And it may seem to be hard. But not only will you survive, you will thrive. And in spite of conditions, you will succeed. But only if you don't lose faith and you have courage. Expect nothing less than what your most precious dreams and watch the miracles manifest. And there we have it. The miracles will manifest. Where's he gone? The master magician performing miracles. There we go. Self-assurance, and that's what the song's about. Get off the dan off the wall, stop being a wallflower, and dance like nobody's watching. Um, Self-assurance, we've had this before, haven't we? Your gut instinct, so again, if you're not following your gut instincts, they're telling us that it may be ulcers, it may be stomach problems. It's time to get off the fence. Be yourself. Self-assurance is a quality which we work really hard to gain, but it be, can be taken from us yeah, quite easily, and that's what's how the High Priestess has suffered, because uh, with very little effort, particularly when we allow others to damage our, self of sense, our sense of self-worth and self-esteem, and somebody's been damaged here. It was an injustice. Um... Particularly when we're willing to allow others to damage our sense of self-worth and self-esteem. Self-assurance is based on belief that we value ourselves and are willing to allow others to have their opinions but that differ from ours. So loving ourselves, that Ace of Cups. Um, yet still stand strong in what we believe and in our truth. No, don't let them railroad you. 
Self-assurance is something you usually don't lack, but you allowed someone to undermine your sense of trust, and this extended to the trust that you once had in yourself. So you've stopped trusting your gut instinct. This person does not deserve to have that much power over you, so take back control of your life. The Chariot um, Initially, you were tricked into allowing this person to make decisions for you, and now you don't know how to stop it. So that's the injustice. You allowed them to take control of your life. You have to try harder. You can regain your power in this situation. And when you do, you will have to make a commitment to yourself that you will never allow these injustices to happen again. This is the first test and the others won't be so difficult if you conquer this one. So what have we learnt in the past Three, four years at least, if you haven't been paying attention. Three, these past three or four years must have worked you up. Uh, if not, there's no hope really. So, love and light, best foot forward, slow and steady, trust your gut. Thanks for listening. Speak soon. Bye.